So, yeah, so the last time we just basically got done with, we just met Tolly and I added her to the team because I love her. Now we have Garrus and Tolly on the team. And I honestly forget what the heck we're doing. So let's see. Let's see what we're up to. Um, okay, so we need to speak to Rex. Rex Krogan is being questioned. Oh, in the sea. Okay, so we do need to go see him. And then um return to the tower because we have the information about Saren being a traitor. I also have all these side quests that I have not done yet. Return to Fist's office in the lower wards. Okay. Okay, let's go to... <sighs> let's go find Rex in the CSEC Academy, first of all. I think that's around here somewhere. I don't really remember. We're gonna have to get reacquainted. Isn't there a map? Oh, we're over here. Okay. Um, so we need to go left. <clears throat> let's go. Samish, Samesh. Shepherd, could you spare a moment of your time? Absolutely, Come sir. On, Shepherd. My name is Samesh Patil. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Hmm. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Okay, that's fair. I can appreciate that. I have too many fucking quests going on right now, though, mate. We do be in trouble with the quests. Uh, yeah, we need to go this way. That's okay. We have all the time. Okay, not me getting confused every five fucking seconds. To the left, to the left. Wait, is this Ah, stop drawing your weapon on accident. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> Holster that beach. This is CSEC. I think. Hello. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Did he? Who's that? I'm not sure. I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. The Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet. That's their business. But I don't have to like it. <clears throat> the Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? Damn, this man's got some attitude. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the council. What do you have against the specters? Mm -hmm. I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law, especially when it's left up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. Hmm. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. 
I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. <coughs> but we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres? <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. <laughs> Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a specter, the council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? But not all specters are like Saren. True. But the potential is always there. Mm. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Hmm. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. I'm a little bit confused. so cool okay well, um i thought i was in fucking c-sec though i am where's my guy rex hello oh no Diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few of us, uh, <clears throat> few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking e Eta, Eta cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. How interesting. Let's continue. Okay, if I draw my weapon on accident one more time, I'm gonna lose it. Moving out. Uh, yes. Thank you. I thought Rex was supposed to be here, though. I do be confused. Did it not say? Is it because I didn't go here? Oops. First. Shind, you can meet him there if you want to speak with him. Am I not in the, is this not the, is this not the academy? That's why. I'm a goof. CSEC Academy, is that on the, I feel like that's on like the lobby level? I remember seeing it. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your At your ass. made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Sure. I'm here on behalf of Samesh Bhatia for his wife, Nirali. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Ooh, why is this one red? I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. I don't know if he's gonna love that. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? You know who I am? Your arrival uh, created a bigger-than-average stir among the diplomats and hangers-on around here. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest if you'd like. Yes, I would like that. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If 
you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Isn't a consort like a, an escort, like a hooker, kind of? I know a hooker and an escort are not the same thing, but isn't that what that is? I'm not very smart. <laughs> Tell me about Flux and Cora's den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Let's see what this one has to say. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Okay. Nasana. You little sassafras. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she wouldn't. She'd be tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... She's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! I bet you did too. Shut up, Frederick. Hmm. What do you want? Men. Is there something I can do for you? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never went to see her, did you? I, uh... No, I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Damn. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Okay. Oh, are we just we j we just done talking now? Okay, I already talked to that guy. Let's talk this guy. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. All right, I need to see what what tasks I'm supposed to be doing right now. I'm getting a little bit. There's too much going on. Well, what can we do over here? Go to the Hydra system. Okay, that is like another planet, I think. Um. Okay. Keepers, we're still working on that. Fist's office at Cora's Den. Okay, we we could go back to Cora's Den. Conrad, don't know who that is. Make a decision. Turn. You will need to use charm or intimidate skills to convince one of the men to see reason. Oh. I gotta go bully those guys? Shit. All right, hold on. Wait, was this the guy? Hello again, Commander. Can I help you? Uh... You know who and what I am. If I want Nirali Bhatia, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. <laughs> Even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? You said you'd been briefed on me. How far do you think I'm willing to go on this? All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Beach! Renegade! 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 <laughs> okay, I just need to go inform Mr. Batia. Where was he? I already forgot. That's okay, though. I think it was this way. Could be wrong. Oh, God. Okay, well, it was not this way. Let's just go get this fucking task done really quickly. Mates, open the door for me. Oh, yeah, it was definitely this way. <clears throat> 
Samesh, I'm coming, mate. I'm coming. I've got some sort of good news for you. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Your wife is coming home, Mr. Bacha. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Not me getting emotional. Ah. <laughs> I just got goosebumps. I don't know why I don't even know this character. I'm like, I can only imagine how much more emotional this game is going to get, though. Where the hell is the CSEC Academy? I know I've seen it. No. Hmm. F, dude. Oh, CSEC Academy. Yes! No way that I found... I knew it was here. I'm so proud of myself. I freaking knew it. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I... It's here. <laughs> hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Torfin was a case study during my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Damn. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Hell yeah, there is. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. I just love this music so much. I don't know if I can explain that to you guys. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. Wicked scene in there, Commander. Might be addicted enough to do them back to back. You might be right. What do you know about Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the council wouldn't use them, right? What do you know about specters? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the council wouldn't use them, right? I don't know. What's to say? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. All right, bud. All right. CSEC Academy. Here we go. Off to find our boy Rex. Just gonna, like, mute and cough because I feel annoying. The Quarians endangered the entire galaxy when they let the Geth break free. I hope your people are properly contrite, Tally. As the Turians are properly contrite for releasing the Genophage upon the Krogan. You're assuming that sterilizing them was a mistake. Damn, there's some heavy, heavy topics in this, like Space World. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Oh. You. Human. You the one they call Shepard? That's me, Commander Shepard. The name's Rex. The Shadow Broker paid me a lot of money to get rid of <laughs> Fist. Only you got there first. Taking care of Fist was part of my investigation. When I get paid to do a job, I finish it alone. Ooh. I don't like where this is going. But I didn't finish this job, Shepard. You did. So the payment is yours. Bounty hunters don't just go around paying off people who take their contracts. I won't take credit for someone else's work. I transferred the payment into your account. I like the way you handled Fist. Now I hear you're going after Saren. I was thinking I should come along. 
Hell yeah. <clears throat> I'm like me just inviting every single person. I'm like, wait! Then I can't have my whole team. <laughs> I'm like, can I just have six people following me around? You're a bounty hunter. What do you get out of going after Saren? I'm not in this for the money. I want to be where the action is. There's a storm coming, and you and Saren are right in the middle of it. Why me? Saren's already got a lot of Krogan working for him. Those aren't Krogan. They're servants. They grovel at Saren's feet to lick his boots, trading their freedom for promises of wealth and power. My people were a proud species once. Some of us still remember that. I won't bow down to Saren like the others. We'll take you with us, Rex. Smart move, Shepard. Okay, Rex is so cute. <laughs> He's such a bean. I'm like, how am I supposed to choose? I wish. I know. Dang it. I want all of these. I like Tolly. I just need a female on my squad. Good luck choosing. F. <laughs> I'm like, fuck the humans. We don't need them. How do I choose? At least three I know. I'm like, just these three. I'm good with them. This person looks annoying, so... Just kidding, but I don't know. The blue, the blue people have so far been kind of annoying. Um, okay, I'm gonna go with Tali and Rex for now, maybe. I just like Rex's voice, but I also like it. All right, maybe I have my, maybe I got my boys with me. This sucks. I don't know who to choose. Mm. She has like hella tech strength though, which I don't really know what that does. But um, yeah. Ah. All right, Rex. Where are we now? We're in CSEC. Did I? So does that mean? Okay, we did do that. Expose Saren. Return to the Citadel Tower in the Presidium. Is there anything else I can do over here though? Return to Fist's office in the lower wards. Actually, I think we should probably go there first. Um, and then we'll go to the tower. So. CSEC offices. No. Well, I guess we could go look around. I don't, have we been down here? I don't recall. Wait, is that where it just came through? Rapid transit. <clears throat> no, this is where I came through. Bruh, what am I up to? Let's just go see what's here. <sighs> Let's go see what's around here. Ooh, what is this? To CSEC Academy? Wait, where the F am I? Hold the frick on. Requisition office. Okay, I wanna check out, nope, Something's not that. In the way. Ah, what the fuck was that? Had a game spoiled for me so I know how it feels. Yeah, it's the worst. <laughs> Uh, I had Resident Evil Village spo spoiled for me, which kind of was annoying. Although I did happen to forget the uh, ending before, or the spoiling before the ending, but it was still annoying. Who's this? Re Requisition officer. You up. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking me for. Me too. I don't actually know, like... I don't know. Do I need to buy things? I feel like I don't need it as much because I'm playing on casual. <laughs> Buying the license is nice. What's the license? This one... Labs license for the Normandy Quartermaster. Okay, I'll do it. All right, I'm just going to get that and leave it at that, I guess. Let's go. I don't wanted to go see the offices. Wait, what? Okay, Julie. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Sora, he's threatened you. Well, Who's talking? 
I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... I can't really get into the details. <laughs> but Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me. And I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Oh god, not another one of these. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Another quest! Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorbin. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Wasn't that the Salarian who asked us to scam the Keepers? The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Hmm. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. What? Okay. So let's go. Go to the markets. That's where they said. Um, and I need to go to Fist's office, which is by Cora's Den, I think. Right? Traveled. Oh, arrived in the markets at the ward. Ah, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's kind of dark down here. Jump scares anyone? Oh, look, it's Chorbin. Wait, who's this? Oh, that's Rex. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? Drop the act. I want to know what's going on, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... Quit stalling. Your friend, <laughs> Jalid, told us about you. You spoke with Jalid? Then you know about the data? No, but you're going to tell me everything. <laughs> you boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jalid and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Can you imagine a tool that can actually get readings from the keepers? That's what all the fuss is about? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jalid already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I don't know. I don't know if I trust this guy. If it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. If I have time, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. I don't know. 
know what to think of all this. I'm not sure. What's the fucking exclamation mark? Oh my god, duh. We go back to the CSEC Academy and find Jaleed. Uh, <clears throat> also, I'm supposed to go to the lower. I know I need to go to the tower, I will. Where's the one? Oh, fist office. Okay, let's do that. Harkin's still here? Not bad, not bad. Uh, except where the hell am I? Is that what I was supposed to be doing? <clears throat> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Help Miss Wong go to the upper wards to deliver it to her. Holy frick. We are just really all over the place here. Big fan of the strip club, gotta say. Oh. Oh yeah, Emily Wong. Oh wait, this is the lady I'm supposed to be talking to. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations <coughs> on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <laughs> you've got Fist files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. I kind of want to be a duke. I had to kill people for these discs. They're worth more than you're offering. I didn't tell you to kill Fist. But you're right. I suppose that I did ask you to help me, so... Here, this should be more than adequate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. <laughs> Not me just harassing everyone, but I think I got more money out of it that way, so that's cool. Okay, let's go back down to the CSEC Academy real quick. We'll give that guy his stuff. And then I think we can go to the tower and expose Saren. Which I'm interested to see what's actually going to happen when we try to expose Saren. I'm not sure he's going to go down today, easy. Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel ah. and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. You're welcome. Also, Emily Wong's outfit was kind of popping. I'm like, who knew you got to dress super cool if you were a um, reporter? I think I'm going the right way. Hmm, could be wrong. Yeah, I am. <clears throat> oh, Jaleed. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Hmm. I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You lied to us about the Keeper data. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin. But you two need to stop fighting. What? You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. This guy just giving everybody a hard time for no reason. Alright, no more of those for now. Let's go to the freaking Citadel Tower. And expose Saren's bitch ass. All right, Presidium. Citadel Tower. Here we go. Uh, okay, I'm assuming Captain Anderson will want to talk to me again. 
Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Ooh, here we go. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. I hate Saren. One step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Venezia. Who the fuck is that? Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. <sighs> I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. Yeah, be This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. <clears throat> Commander Shepard, step forward. Are we about to become a specter? Hell yeah, beach. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. 
He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment Ooh, and training. Special. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I'm like, did my game just crash? What the fuck was that? Not the notification. <laughs> Bastard Please. didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. <laughs> 